Let's move away from service providers and the Kumase High Court is due to hear the first witness in a case in which a lecturer at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology's Petroleum Department is accused of kidnapping his wife, a Lands Commission official. The Attorney General's office informed the court that the first of the three witnesses to be called uh, by the state would be a teaching assistant who worked with Dr. Wilberforce and Chroma Agri, the main suspect in the case. There is more in this report put together by Ohiming Teria. Dr. Agri is also accused of deceit of a public officer. He is on trial with two other people, including a man who claims to have found and sold Rodalin Amuadakun's infinite phone. State attorney Charles Edward Yirinchi, however, pleaded with the court to restrain the accused from contacting the witness to avoid any interference. It comes after the key accused person and his counsel attended a successful case management session on Tuesday. Rodalyn Amwadako, the wife of Dr. Wilberforce Nkrumah Agri, has been missing since August 30, 2021. She is a mother of two who works for the Lands Commission's Kumase office as a senior Lands Administrative Officer. Dr. Agri was discharged after appearing in the Asukwa District Court on provisional charge of kidnapping, but was re-arrested to face new charges of kidnapping and deceit of a public officer in the Kumase High Court. After many attempts by his lawyers, Dr. Agri, who has been held in prison custody, has been denied bail. State prosecutors provided all disclosures to defense counsel, including evidence they expect to use against Dr. Agri and the other two defendants during the trial. The court adjourned the hearing to April 26, 2022. Meanwhile, the family of the mixing Rodalyn Amwada says it is satisfied with the court processes so far. Her mother, Cecilia Obenewa Apia, sat through hearing for the second time. She took time to address Friends of Rhoda, a pressure group seeking justice for the missing Rhoda Lane. The mother says she has confidence in the Attorney General and the court for justice. The Attorney General's department are doing their work. They are very, very active and they are... They, they are working as expected. So we have hope in them. So far as the Attorney General's work is concerned, they are working. From Kumasi, for Joy News, Oyeminteria reporting.